I think I'm live. Hello, it's Markham Matos with you from Markham 3D. We're carrying on with this animated short film. Now we're going to be, yeah, we're going to be doing two things. Is first up, we were, we, we will be continuing on um, finishing off Ian's character. So we need to redo this chin area, this chin section, and also, um, audio so we'll try and block out the first scene of audio i just want to kind of get all those raw clips in um to make sure that that is all good i'm just going to quickly jump over to youtube dog live just to make sure that i am living <laughs> am i living i don't know uh, i am living beautiful let us continue on so Ian has kindly provided his um, vocals and I kind of started putting that together. Where did I save that file? Let me just go back into here. Crud, I don't know where I saved the script. I think the script might be in downloads. Restoration, there we go. So we have a restoration script over there on the left-hand side. All right, so let's continue on. And so this is where we've kind of gotten to so far. I started doing a little bit of work. Mr. Brian, welcome. Um, bit of a setback that's happened is my motherboard has died on my primary machine. So I have now reverted back to my old machine, which is only a hex core. And it's a bit slow. So, Sim voce esta la live. Hey, cell phone. Ruby. Now, can you let me know if you can hear this? Because if you can't, Ruby, then you I got told problems. me the car'd be ready by now. Yeah, I know, Leo. This car is meant to be doing the rounds by now, getting it up for auction. Yeah, I know. We are losing money each day. I am losing money each day, not you. I put just as much as you did in. Yeah, Don't like that line. At the start, but I'm the one who had to sell my can home you guys to keep hear this that? project alive. You see that over there? That's where I'm sleeping to save money. I'm the only one putting in the hard yards. Look, I'm gonna get an expert to help us out. To, to help me out? I can't afford that. It's not my fault the internal combustion engine hasn't been around for centuries. It's it's old technology. Well, you're failing. We're not going to make any money till that engine runs. Well, then I'll just bring in Joe then. So there's two different clips I would like to re-record. It'll be this one here. Each day. I am losing money each day, not you. I think that I could be a little bit more forceful. And this one here... Well, then I'll just bring in Joe. Then. Well, you're failing. We're not going to make any money till that engine runs. It should be more. Well, you're failing. We're not going to make any money till that engine runs. <laughs> okay, remember, what was the line? Well, 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 then I'll just bring in. Well, you're failing. We're not going to make like any this. money till that engine runs. <laughs> Fine. I'll just bring Joe in then. That's more kind of, it goes with the flow. Obviously, because Ian and I have. Uh, recorded at separate times so definitely that one there is going to be re-recorded but what i'll probably do is um set up the scene and so on and then that's something i can quickly change out in the nla editor um his next line is what well, seriously he screwed me over so let's have a look what was this line like <laughs> what seriously he screwed me over he's gonna do the same to you <sighs> that one that one doesn't have the punch I'm after. So I think... Hey, Ruby! <laughs> it's just like so Ian. So I got like 15 minutes of him just going through the script. It was hilarious. This car was meant to be doing the rounds by now. Getting up for auction. That that to me sounds like his tutorials. <laughs> the car's meant to be doing the rounds by now. This car was meant to be doing the rounds by now. Getting up for auction. Yeah, that's great. I can't do any acting. Ruby, you told me the car would be ready. Ruby. Ruby. Yeah. I love it. I just love the... So re really, at the start, if you watch this... Okay, so... All right, hang on. Let's fast forward a little bit. All right. All right, all right, all right. I'm just going to give you options. You're just taking the audio, so it doesn't have to be... Yeah. Uh, so you can see he's kind of Ruby, like... you told me the car... Ruby. Ruby, Ruby, I'm finding it. I'm finding it. Yeah. Uh, 
So it was kind of very... Yeah, I, I didn't realize that involved stabbing your business partner in the back. Ooh. Hang on. Let's grab that one. I'm gonna get an... I'm gonna get an expert. Help us out. Well, you're failing. We won't make any money till that engine... Well, you're failing. <laughs> We're not gonna make any money till that engine runs. What? Well, seriously. He screwed me over. He's gonna do the same to you. I'm trying to find... Yeah, I'm trying to find something with that. If he's here to help, then I want out. I want my money back. All of it. Fine. You're lost. <laughs> what, seriously? He screwed me over, he's gonna do the same to you. No worries, Jay, you're more than welcome, buddy. Thank you for the suggestion. There are add-ons to do that, apparently. Well, there is, I checked them out. Um, I'd probably check them out as well. <laughs> but you know the you know the process in actually doing it yourself, which I think is, you know, sometimes gets overlooked. I mean, obviously I do a lot of add-on reviews because I want to speed up that workflow. Um, but yeah. Hey. <laughs> I put just as much as you did in. Look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get an expert to help us out. Well, you're uh, failing. We're not gonna make any money till that engine runs. What, seriously? He screwed me over, he's gonna do the same to you. you... What, seriously? He screwed me over, he's gonna do the same to you. If you bring him in, I'm out. That one there's not bad. <laughs> what, seriously? He screwed me over, he's gonna do the same to you. Mm, hang on. He screwed me over, he's gonna do the same to you. Oh. <laughs> what, seriously? He screwed me over, he's gonna do the same. Let's maybe splice them two together. I like that bit. What, seriously? He screwed me over, he's gonna do the same to you. Mm. I think the energy is completely different in both of them. <laughs> what, seriously? He screwed me over, he's gonna do the same to you. He screwed me over, he's gonna do the same to you. If you bring... He screwed me over... Yeah, let's just grab these then. If you bring him in, I'm out. Yeah, what are you doing here? I... So that one there... If you bring him in... I've got to find a different one. But let's go quickly back over to here. Let's quickly drop these. Well then, I'll just bring in Joe then. He screwed me over, he's going to do the... Joe then. He screwed me over... Joe then. Joe then. <laughs> what, seriously? He screwed me over, he's gonna do that. <laughs> what, seriously? <laughs> what, seriously? He screwed me over, he's gonna do the same to you. I get stuffed. So anyway. <laughs> what, seriously? He screwed me over, he's gonna do the same to you. That's not too bad. I'll accept that for now. Um, and then pretty much what we're gonna be doing is... I will jump into the facial motion capture and kind of mimic the way he's saying it. With the full body motion capture, I'm now in a bit of a pickle because the motherboard has died. Um, the Rift does work on this machine, but it's not the best because it is such an old machine. I do have an Oculus Quest though that I have yet to try. So that's something I gotta do. Um, and I'll be using Glycan for that, and we'll see how that turns out. Um, worst comes to worst, I'm just going to manually animate it, which I think might be the route. Um, so what I'll do is probably sometime during the week, I'll do some referencing on how I would like the scene to play, um, especially because they're mostly standing in the same spot. There'll be, I think, this bit here. I put just as much as you did in. Yeah. At the start, yeah. but I'm the one who had and to sell my home. And this is where he kind of walks off, alive. He sits that down, there? that's where I'm chillaxes a little bit. Money. I'm the only one putting in the hard yards, and then it comes into like. Look, I'm gonna get an expert to help us out. It's okay, I'm to, your friend. To help me out, I can't afford that. It's not my fault the internal combustion engine hasn't been around for centuries. Technology. Well, you're failing. We're not gonna make any money till that engine runs. Well then, I'll just bring in Joe then. Yeah, so that one definitely needs to be done. <laughs> I'll just bring Joe in then. <laughs> what, seriously? Oh, but he does that as well then. That doesn't really work. What, seriously? He screwed me... Yeah, maybe we can just get rid of it like that. Well then, I'll just bring in Joe then. What, seriously? He screwed me over, he's going to do the same to you. Definitely there's going to be a lot of J cuts. So J cuts is um, where you've got like one video playing, but the 
audio from another video file starts playing already and then it cuts over to that video clip so it's kind of going to be a quick backwards and forth so we can see that this scene is technically only 47 seconds long so we can see that's going to be very punchy i don't think it's going to be three minutes i think it might be only two minutes like it all depends how if um i get isaac's lines you know is it going to be slow pace there's going to be a little bit more friction between the people uh, between the two characters or actually between the three characters so that might draw it out a little bit be, might be a little bit slower where the first scene is kind of like get you straight in and that's what you want especially with the youtube video um is to get people straight into it and then kind of taper it off a little bit ish kind of if you notice that if you read books you'll notice that the first chapter is always like whoa crazy stuff crazy stuff crazy stuff and then it goes chapter two is kind of like sometimes the intro except for lord of the rings which is just a boring book i've said it it's freaking boring i've tried to read it three times the last time i got uh, the furthest but that was because i got hit by a car and i was in hospital no nothing else to do before smartphones good me over he's gonna do the same cool all right i'm just gonna leave that i'm just gonna i'm showing you where i'm up to and now if we come back to here this is so this is gonna be ian's character it's pretty much how i envision his character um what we might do is let's maybe just clear off some of these vertices because we don't really need them we're not going to be seeing his belt because he's got the shirt on so i might just go control l that's fine i'm more than happy to delete um articles of clothing it's more i can't delete or change the body skin oh my goodness this is an ugly i forgot about that material we're going to change that material as well um so that's not too bad i think we could probably get rid of the legs um we'll check what the shoes are like that looks pretty bad the fact that they're intersecting so for instance this is already auto rigged um what i'll be doing is putting the auto rig pro over the top of this i might even use rigify i don't know we'll work that out um so i'm actually not going to auto weight paint i'm going to assign the meshes to the armature and make sure that all these armature groups have the correct name corresponding to the bones list so that means when i start moving things um it's got that weight paint from character creator three all right so that's not too bad bit of a bold spot there but i think we can oh that's more actually i'm not sure why that's doing that let's maybe i go gg oh wait no i can't because then i have to redo all this so i don't know i don't know what to do about that maybe we just throw in another edge loop in here oh that actually kind of worked i mean i do like the the craziness of the hair i think that works really well definitely we'll get rid of this mullet i don't think the mullet belongs there and for those of you of uh who aren't in australia i don't know do you guys actually know what mullets are um let's kind of comb that back because here in australia mullets are the not the epiphany Yeah, right, let's do it like that. Come into here. Definitely got to change the materials on the hair. <laughs> and then from here now, what we can do is come to the particle edit. And then we can just kind of start. Oh, control Z. We can start kind of massaging these around. So they're like that. bringing that back around the back of their head actually that's oh that's a good just like a little flick on the end let's bring them back in around 
Okay, cool bananas. So that's not too bad. Let's go into object mode, see what the hair's looking like. Looking like at the back. We're not really going to be seeing the back of the head's character back of the character's heads. So that should be fine. Definitely we're gonna work on this bit here. So I think what I am gonna to have to do is do a skull cap for the face. Which is I didn't really want to do it, but I do want to do it. Um, because I need kind of to be more rounder because especially kind of like here where it really sits in there which is really slightly annoying the mo's not too bad uh, we've come to render edit let's kind of just go into some particle and we'll just kind of something like that hmm. needs to be kind of I don't know I'm not good with hair materials. This is something I'm just going to have to play with. Let's see if I can find some hair materials. Especially because we're going to be doing this in Eevee and not in Cycles. I don't have Auto Rig Pro. Not Auto Rig Pro. What's that one? PBR Combo Extreme installed on this machine yet because I literally put it back together mm, yesterday, the day before. All right, so let's work backwards. Let's select these and I'm just going to pick up some more vertices. Um, cool. I'm just going to check. What does his face look like now? That's the discord over here. So very much. If you look, he's got like the strip and the goatee. He's got much longer hair though, but you know what? I'm not too fussed. I am liking the craziness of the hair at the front. So maybe what we'll do is let's just grab this and that probably not that one awesome a sign i've made it a bit bigger so let's assign that and then what i'm going to do is go around and select kind of like the next facial edge actually what i could do no no no, no. okay that's fine Jeez, undo, undo. Okay. Shift D to duplicate the body. So now we're on body one. This will be CC underscore um, Mo underscore cap. Because it's not going to be the skull cap. Let's just turn that one off and come back into here. Go into the particle settings and we'll remove that one. And then we can come back to here. Select our Mo cap. And then we can start kind of massaging these around to give them a little bit of um, circleness. So, is that the right one? Yep. So I'm just pressing GG to kind of move them around. Oops, let's go that one there. Up the top, GG. Bring it down. GG, bring that one down. And so you can see that we're kind of getting a radius around. I believe I can fly. So we've got this edge here, really pointy. So let's kind of maybe bring them down. And I'm gonna move that one that way a little bit, that one that way a little bit, just so we kind of got this nice circular edge. Yeah, man, how you doing, mate? Dang, even better than the character. What? Even the back of the head is character. <laughs> sure is. Sorry, it took me a sec. Yes, the mullet. Doo -doo -doo. Who doesn't love a good mullet? I had a mullet growing up. I remember those days. You weren't an Aussie if you didn't have a mullet. Okay, let's go backwards. What have I done here? So that one this one this one what did i do is that the mirror one, two, three. that's that one so we, went, we grabbed this one gg that one went down there we go 
That's what we did. And then we'll kind of bring that one in, that one in. And we're kind of looking roughly the same. There we go. Oh, isn't that delightful? Yeah, that's not too bad. That's a little bit better. It's very wide though. So I think I've selected a bit too much. I think the Mo there seems pretty good. What I'm gonna do is delete that edit. Let's go maybe 0 0.006. There we go, a little bit more length. Um, and let's kind of now redefine that. Everyone loves a mullet, they do, don't they? Uh, this is for a short film that has been going on for a little bit way too long and I really got to put my foot in and start doing it. Um, it is due end of June. So we still got all the animations to do. Yay! Uh, sound design, which I'll be giving to Ryan from ImageFlex. Um, he'll be doing the sound design for this again. Uh, he actually might live stream his uh, creation process, which actually I'm excited for because it's pretty cool what he does. So let's grab, maybe let's grab these two vertices. I'm gonna bring GG, bring these I get staffed. Let's bring that one down. That one down. Maybe, oh, can you? Oh, I didn't even think about that. All right, let's chop this guy's head off. V to rip, control L, delete. Oh, radio. V to rip. Control L, delete vertices because we don't really need anything under his neck. Cool. Um, let's put an edge loop through his eyeball. Which one was that? Actually, we'll go. Shush. This one here. V to rip. V to rip. Control L. Ah, oh, get stuffed. I wonder where that joined. Oh, anyway, let's just do this. Let's just go C. Right through there. Delete vertices. Because obviously, I might as well just get rid of all the vertices that we don't need. Something like that, something like that. Delete vertices, and hopefully, we now have <laughs> the dude from Little Big. <laughs> um, what I can do is come over into the vertices group. I can go facial hair. Let's go select with the vertexes selected i can go control i to invert my selection delete vertices i don't like that that did not seem to go well let's go delete faces i get stuffed what's this delete vertices okay c and let's just deselect all them delete vertices and now we should have only what's there. So now when we come down into particle settings, show emitter. No, I don't want to see the emitter. Hair tools doesn't look that real. It's not hair tools. This is just the native um, blender plugin, blender stuff. Uh, why I'm not using the mirror modifier? Because this face isn't mirrored. Um, it's got actually kind of like imperfections. So kind of like, I think the left ear is a little bit bigger and stuff like that. So that's why. Okay. Uh, what else are we doing? So if we come over into object mode, let's go into particle edit. Let's see if this works. What I'm going to do is add. Oh, can't I remove stuff? Length. Smooth. Cut. I don't think I can cut. We'll try this. Then let's go into object mode. Now nah, it didn't really work, did it? Okay, control Z, control Z, control Z, undo, undo, 
Undo, undo, undo. There we go. Let's try... Hmm. I mean, I, I could leave it. It doesn't... How does that look? Like, definitely the hair colour. I know that needs to be changed. That's fine. Yeah, I just think that's a little bit too big. Let's just... You know what? Let's just colour it out. And let's go into comb and grooming. He's grooming me. And then let's grab that section there. Put the strength up to 100. I want to grab all that. I want to grab all them. There we go. <laughs> Might as well give it a little bit of a flick. There we go. Um... Uh, Slice Factor, welcome. Found your YouTube. Thanks, Cody. Uh, nothing, just fun. Stream stuck or what? Ah, oh, what? Is it stuck? Or am I moving? Please don't tell me I'm moving. Um, please tell me I'm moving. Okay, what else we got? So that's what we've got. Whoops. And then let's just quickly kind of do this. Oh, do I? What's this kind of? Just so it goes kind of along the top lip, but I will go puff it out. There we go. All right, how's that looking now? And into object mode. I think the hairs are a bit too dense. Let's check that out. Yeah. I I think definitely that's almost like cat fur. Let's bring the numbers down. I have to delete the edit, unfortunately. Let's bring it down to... Control Z. Control Z. Control Z. Aha! So now let's select that. Come down into children. Bring it maybe down to 25. No, oh, this is the preview. Oh, far out. Well, if I go none, I need children. So what if we went about, just about five. It's not too bad. Let's go maybe two-ish. Yeah, that's not too bad. It looks more patchier. So I'm going to leave it like that. So it does give a little bit of extra. Um, the stream isn't stuck for me. Beautiful. That's good. Thank you very much. Thanks, Cody. Much appreciated. Working cool. Uh, working with Mark. Hey, buddy. I can't read Russian. He red lip. Here's a little bit red lip. So definitely, I think I'll be changing the skin texture. It's just I can't change the mesh. So I'm not too fussed about that. Definitely probably come up here and paint in some hair up the top just to kind of like hide those areas. Kind of like especially these areas here. Um, we did add a whole bunch of extra geometry in there. Let's just actually, if I go F12 and just go F12 to render, idiot. Mm. Definitely that needs to be fixed. Definitely this still needs to be working. It's too clumpy. So maybe if we come down into clumping. Oh, 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 control Z. Let's go to the Mo. So that's clumping. That's that. So definitely not that. Let's go shape. Shape's not going to change much because I think we need to have a clump first. So if we do that and then shape. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's cool. Not doing that. <laughs> uh, parting. Nothing really. I can't remember what that was on. Let's control Z on that one. Length. What's the threshold? What's that? Uh, probably the variation. Seed. My oh, yeah. Virtual parents. What's that? Hmm. I'm not sure. It's getting there. 
It just doesn't seem right. <laughs> that doesn't seem right. Size. Keep that as one. Now the whole point of me not using hair cards is because if I were to apply hair cards, those hair cards don't actually get um, the shape keys. So the thing that I've now kind of put myself into a bit of a corner is that whenever I apply a facial motion capture, I need to now apply it to three objects because I've got the skull cap, which is the top bit. I've got the mo cap, which is the mo and the beard. And then I've also got the base body. So I, that's something I just got to remember because if I apply a facial motion capture to just the body, then obviously the mouth will move, but not the beard nor if anything moves around the top of the head. So yeah. Um, if it's like children, you can see the end result in particle. Particle. View. What am I saying? If you select children, where's the children? View. Where's the children of which you speak? Let me have a look, so I may eat. I cannot find children. Somewhat disturbing. Uh, tools, uh, uh, options. Children. Aha, look at you, Captain Clever. Thanks, man. Uh, Charlie H, is it all, it's almost there. And I think yeah, definitely the material doesn't seem right. I mean, I was going for kind of like a dirty blonde, but I think I might move into the Ranger type. If you don't know what a Ranger is, let me know. Uh, whoops. Let's go into, not temp, because that is not where my game, the film is. If we go into mocap, sign of characters, and then we go into Isaac, think this one oops let's get rid of that so I'll show you what Isaac's character looks like this actually turned out really good I'm fairly chuffed with how it turned out um, definitely probably he <laughs> gosh so that turned out pretty good I do like the very short hairs here. Funnily enough, I think I might paint over a bold texture. So if I go into mm, G drive, there, textures, hair. And so these are my hair textures. Dang it. Ah, oh, dang it, it's on the other computer. Far out. So for those who have joined, welcome. Um, so I've had to revert back to my old computer due to the fact my motherboard died. So that's being sent off tomorrow to get a warranty replaced. But that's not la too bad. That's actually really good. Let's just F12 that. And... Let's just open up a little bit of a snip and deal. Yeah, definitely I'm going to have to paint textures on there. Oh, I don't even have that. Oh, far out. All right. So, whoops. TikTok. I love TikTok. It is the most stupidest stuff. Can we see that? Jeez, sorry. Uh, I took a photo of someone's bald head. <laughs> um, and the plan is there is I'll attach it uh, to paint on the back of this one, most definitely. I gotta find a bald bl blonde person or a ranger person. But I think just having that texture there, which is mm, a little bit dull. But definitely kind of maybe even try and put some imperfection in 
imperfections in, such as kind of like moles or something in there, just to really break up that texture. Um, I swear I painted this, but I'll do it again. Oh, geez, control Z, control Z. There we go. Let's just bring that down. And then like that. There we go. And then we go now into object mode. There we go. So now the kind of like the hairs are actually going in the right way. Oh, yuck. That's a bad spot, but that's fine. We're not going to be seeing it too much. The hair looks bad. But the thing is, so I definitely got to work on that as well. So if I go Mr. Isaac Barterfield, it's not what I wanted. Mr. Butzman. Chernobyl's. So you can see he's, especially with kind of like this one, you can see that hair's already starting to go really high. Um, even up here as well. It's got a bit of an indent here that I didn't plan on, which is a little bit silly of Marco. But yeah. So I don't know, do we grow it or it does? The back here looks a little bit yuck. Biba, welcome. <laughs> Um, and so if I click on the face and we go into shape keys, yeah, we can see that now we've got that full range. The beard stays with it. Um, did I animate the body at all? I did not. Oh, there it is. I did do it. Let's just go like this. Nope, that's material. Oh, I can't do it. It's on, uh, I'm on my old computer now. It doesn't have the power to do this and streaming and all that. So what I was going to do is kind of like play the animation, which is on the other computer. So, But anyway, so that's what's going on. Definitely got to redo this material. Um, this is kind of what scene, the first scene is starting to become. Ruby, you told me the car would be ready by now. Yeah, I know, Leo. This car is meant to be doing the rounds by now, getting it up for auction. Yeah, I know. We are losing money each day. I am losing money each day, not you. I put just as much as you did in. Hate that line. Yeah, at the start. But I'm the one who had to sell my home to keep this project alive. You see that over there? That's where I'm sleeping to save money. I'm the only one putting in the hard yards. Look, I'm going to get an expert to help us out. To, to help me out? I can't afford that. It's not my fault the internal combustion engine hasn't been around for centuries. It's it's old technology. Well, you're failing. We're not going to make any money till that engine runs. Well, this then I'll just recorded. bring in Joe then. What, seriously? He screwed me over. He's going to do the same to you. So, that's coming along. We're slowly building. Um, got to do reference footage. I still got to put in scene two. I've recorded my all my audio. I've got to keep pillaging out of this one. Still think... Uh, the motherboard, I don't know. So the... Actually, let me go back up one. Has anyone ever asked you to say it's not a knife? This is a knife. <laughs> I see you've played knifey spoonies before then. I'm um, lucky I have money to afford all this. I couldn't even afford a new graphics card to get the brand new blender. But I've been waiting. Somehow it's kind of... I don't know what to tell you. I saved up. And then I got my wife's permission. Um, I still think haircuts... Like I said, in a way, yes, haircuts would be easier. But the haircuts don't stick to the face. So that'll be the problem is that if the mouth moves, it doesn't move. Because what I would actually have to do is go back in and oh, just sounds yuck to me, but redo all the shape keys, which is about 52 shape keys. Oh, it's a lot less for the mouth. I think it's maybe 24 shape keys for the mouth to do the whole beard. So, um, such thing to make my, uh, there's a little setback. Anyway. 
Yes, I know. But luckily enough, it's under warranty. The motherboard was only eight months old. And that's what was happening is that like after turning it off at night and turning it back on, the machine would probably work for about half an hour fine. And then it would just go into like a boot cycle and it would just keep rebooting, 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 change the power supply, reseated the RAM, change graphic card. Um, unplugged the hard drive, so reseated the hard drives. Um, so I'm assuming it's the motherboard. I don't know what else it could have been, but I've anyway, I've be sending that off to Tomash. Welcome. I'll be sending that back to the people who I bought it from. Blender runs less power on PC, Max. Yeah. 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 So I was testing, uh, the motion capture stuff and luckily enough, I can still do facial motion capture on this computer, which is good in saying that. I mean, this PC still got a hex core on it, so... It's okay. <laughs> uh, see and you got... Yes, I did. I got Ian to give me a voiceover, which was awesome. Chris, welcome. Um, still waiting for the Buttsman to give me that voiceover. Um, but what I'll do is I'll send a few screenshots of his body, and hopefully that might jab him to go, oh yeah, I better do that. So, anyway... So that's where we are with this. I'm definitely going to be probably trying to put a little bit more effort in because I can't play games, which is good, except I play Rocket League. Dang it, I love Rocket League. <laughs> um, what else? So that's about it. Um, I'm probably going to leave it there because I got there's not much I can do until I do all the facial motion capture. I've got to play with the material to get the blonde or the orange hair looking right. Uh, what else is there? The Rift doesn't really work on this machine. It can, but it struggles. I got a Quest over there, Oculus Quest, which hopefully I can get Glycon on, but I don't know how well that's going to be. The Cat Loco VR little motion capture trackers. Uh, the waste one was broken, so I'm getting resent that. So I had a bit of a bad string with technology, unfortunately. What else is there? Okay. Uh, Blender is the fastest three DTC CG apps among all. Yes. <laughs> uh, how you're able to make your dreams come true. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. The, the dream would probably be to have a studio. I think that'd be the dream. <laughs> um, and I'd love to be able to make you know short films all day every day however I gotta work coronavirus hasn't slowed me down it's actually doubled my workload let's just say um, because you know everyone kind of had gotten laid off um, but we actually hired an extra oh, like 3,000 people to, <laughs> to do a whole bunch of stuff so yeah, that's a dream. Um, hopefully this short film will be done by the end of July. I'm doing it in Eevee this time, not Cycles, because I don't want to have to render so much again. That was disgusting. What else is there? Still got tutorials. And did you check out Photographer yet? Photographer, Photographer. Photographer. Photographer, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Is that this one? Because I haven't checked. Hang on, which one is it? Samuel. That one. Is this the photographer one? No, that's a parallax node pack. No, not the photographer one. Have you seen it? I have. It looks sick. That's the, the, the next step. If this short film works out, motion capture suit <laughs> that'll be good um however it's going to be 1500 us and they don't have any in australia so they got to ship them over and import tax will probably be an extra five six hundred bucks for me so we're talking about you know three thousand australian which is a lot um i'm looking to become three hours and make some short films myself and entertain people yeah, you just got to do it. That's the thing. You read Chris' previous post about add-on. 
Let me check out. Let me write that down. Notepad, Control V, Photographer add on, and Wonder Mesh. Wonder Mesh. What was Wonder Mesh? Wonder Mesh was scanning. I think I did. But it was it wasn't relevant for me at the moment because I'm not scanning people. Because obviously I can't scan like Ian. So but yes, I've got that written down. I'll check that again after the stream. What else we got? So we're working on that. Scene one is about 49 seconds at the moment. I have to re-record some of the audio to match Ian's audio. What else am I missing? I think that's about it. So I've got to catch up on tutorials. I've got one for Monday. Tuesdays I still got to work out, which I think I got to talk to Samuel about, or a chap called Samuel. Uh, if there's any tutorials you guys want to know about please leave a comment in a different video not this one because I don't see these chats Wonder Mesh isn't about scanning oh. alright let's have a look now then Wonder Mesh Blender do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Let's have a look. Wonder Mesh. Let's just check out Wonder Mesh. Let me quick probably all the options available only until you do anything else. After that, you lose them forever. Wonder Mesh primitives are trying to overcome this by embedding the settings directly to the mesh properties so you can edit them anytime you want. Ah, that's kind of cool. It comes with a cost. All these primitives are just primitives. And if you want to anyhow edit the mesh, you have to convert them to the common mesh. Otherwise, they will overwrite all your changes. But anything on the object level is fine, of course, including modifiers, constraints, physics, etc. Hmm. In the previous version, there weren't all the basic shapes available yet, so that should be covered now. Some more advanced shapes like helix, gears, and bearings are. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's interesting. And where you can get it. And so. Hmm. Will I need it? I don't know. I have to check that out a little bit more later. Uh, what's the name of the film? I don't know. Uh, I think I'm going to be pro maybe calling it Restoration, but I'm not sure about that. Why am I doing Kung Fu things? I don't know. Um, and also motion capture Glycon is really rad, does amazing motion capture with the VR headset. And that's what I am using at the moment. Actually, I don't have Glycon on this computer. Do I have Glycon on this computer? Glycon. I do have Glycon. See, it's right here. So I've already purchased Glycon. Um... And we'll see how that goes as well. So obviously I can't really do motion capture sitting down, especially when most of these scenes, they'll be standing up. Um, what else we got? That's about it. So probably just have a quick, nice early, have an early mark because I got to go to bed. I stayed up till 2am yesterday watching Netflix. So uh, I just want to say thank you very much for your support, guys. I'm hopefully, I'm going to try and really push this um, film try and work hard on it a little bit more give some more time into it because I think I'm falling behind schedule not having a deadline I think has really stuffed me up there was a discussion about people saying that having no that was actually that was about a different topic never mind that <laughs> check this out what am I checking out buddy just before we finish up yeah, especially for the price, I completely agree. I think it was 70 US maybe when I purchased it. So, but yeah, I wish I had more tracker markers. That would have been mm, mm, fun. Maybe I should. Hmm. So, yeah, I really do wish. All right. I am going to leave it now. I'm going to have to probably have barely. I am going to leave it now. I need to have an early one. <laughs> um, but thank you very much, guys, for coming. Please, if you can, share the channel. Help me out. Try and get me up to 25,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So far, so good. What's that thing? Corona? Links can't be displayed in chat. Yeah. So, jump into another video. Send me the link in there. Um, and then I'll see it. Or actually, or just wait for this stream to finish, and then... I don't know. If you use a quest, I know. 
and that's why I'm intrigued to use it. Um, I've got to charge it up first, but I, I'm intrigued to see what happens. Ooh. All right. I hope so as well. Thank you very much.